Hey, good morning, Dr. Atinder, and good morning, Rahul. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. And let me thank both of you. Uh, so, though viewers already know both of you, but uh, still, I would like to give you a very, very brief, uh, uh, you know, introduction to all the students who are seeing. Uh, Dr. Atinder and uh, Rahul, you both are alumni of uh, IIT Kanpur. And uh, Dr. Atinder has done doctorate from there. And presently, uh, you are doing your postdoctorate fellowship from very prestigious IIT Delhi. And you're working in a very, very relevant uh, research area, research field. And uh, Rahul, you are, uh, after you did your master's, uh, you served some years in uh, Caterpillar. And uh, then now you are doing your PhD from Rutgers University in New York. So this particular interaction is related to postdoctorate fellowship. I strongly believe that India ke andar logon ko, uh, doctorate ka and postdoctorate fellowship ke bare mein knowledge nahi hai. Uh, jada awareness nahi hai. Since you guys are sitting in the Institute of uh, Global Reputations, I'm very sure aapki taraf se jo input aega, wo students ko bohat helpful hoga. And my this video is related to post-doctorate fellowship and Indian perspective, global perspective. So now I come first to Dr. Atinder. Uh, Dr. Atinder, uh, anything you want to tell uh, the viewers about post-doctorate fellowship? So the post-doctorate fellowship is a temporary position. Uh, it uh, lasts for nearly two to three years. Uh, based upon uh, the position uh, available and you can apply it uh, anywhere in Indian institutes and anywhere in the broad also. So it's also helpful in getting a good position for permanent, permanent position. Okay. So Dr. Yeah. Adhinder, post doctorate fellowship, when uh, student ko try karna chahiye, at what stage of his PhD, he should try to explore the opportunities. Okay, I think that when he has published his first paper, kar hai, he should try looking for other research groups. What are they doing? What are they doing? So that he can do his own research on his level. So that when he at the time of uh, near his submission, he should be able to contact them. He has done this work and he has my future view. So, क्या हम साथ में काम कर सकते हैं तो पोस्ट फेलो? So this is the way one can approach. So if I ask you very straight, what is the catchment area for such students? Because what we know is, unlike you know masters or PhD, postdoctoral fellowship कोई application नहीं होता कि हमने apply किया department में और मिल गया. I think you need to catch people, you need to uh, develop some kind of collaboration. तो कहाँ पे वो हम लोग collaboration develop कर सकते हैं? Is it through conference? Is it through LinkedIn? Is it through mail? How do we get these people who can offer us postdoctoral fellowship under their guidance? So, we will not go from one channel, we will go from channel. So, the method is better that you follow the simple research papers at the beginning. What are you doing? Okay, there is no need to go to the conference. Just on the laptop, you can find the people from the Google Scholar. The other thing is that you have to go to the conference, so you have to network and talk to people from there. You have to talk to me, my research area is this. And I want to go in this direction. Dusra, tisra, again, LinkedIn article is famous for this work. So, this is kind of job. So, don't take it like an academic degree or something. So, job is to take it from any way. There is no problem in this. Okay. And Atinder, if I give this line, if I give this statement, that postdoctorate fellowship, getting postdoctorate fellowship is neither easy nor difficult. Uh, will you justify this particular statement? Because I, I heard this statement from many of my professor friends, that it is not easy or difficult. Uh, somewhat, you can say that. It depends on what your goals are. If you think about it, 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 then it can be difficult. और अगर आप कहीं भी सोच करो आप हो कि भी मैं कहीं भी जाना चाहता हूँ it doesn't matter to me मेरे को बस अच्छा research group चाहिए जहाँ पे मेरी profile डाल पोस्ट करें तो ये easy भी है no no other day doctor दिनदर I was talking to someone some of my known fellow who is now in foreign university he is educated from India but now he is working as faculty in some foreign university he told me Indian students are very bright they are very capable but our education system has trained us for competitive exams since childhood, we have completed exams, we have written exams, apply it and you get the opportunities. We are very poor in collaboration. We are very poor in coordinating with other people and getting opportunities for collaboration. So, postdoctoral fellowship is something which requires that collaboration. How true is this statement? 
इट्स मोर ट्रू देन एनीथिंग एल्स आई थिंक प्रॉब्लम ये आ रही है हमें जब हम शुरू में पीएचडी में आते हैं तो यहाँ पे जो कल्चर है पीएचडी में तो सिंग, सिंगल हैंडेड काम करने का है ठीक है कोलेबोरेशन के लिए बहुत कम लोग जाते हैं पर जो जाते हैं आप सिग्निफिकेंटली डिफरेंस दे सकते हैं उनकी प्रोफाइल और जो बंदे जो कोलेबोरेट नहीं कर रहे हैं उनकी प्रोफाइल में जमीन आसमान का डिफरेंस होता है लाइक like, मैं एग्जाम्पल खुद अपने दोस्त की देता हूँ खुद की देता हूँ मैंने पी में कोई कोलेबोरेशन नहीं किया ठीक है सिंगल हैंडेड काम किया है मेरे दो जनरल पब्लिकेशन हुए हैं पीएचडी में वेर एज हाँ लेकिन मेरा एक दोस्त था जिसने कोलेबोरेटिव काम किया उसके दस पेपर है दिस इज अ डिफरेंस और जब वो अप्लाई करेगा सेम पोजीशन के लिए और मैं अप्लाई करूंगा तो डेफिनेटली ही इज गेटिंग बेनिफिट वट स्टॉप पीपल फ्रॉम कोलेबोरेटिंग डॉक्टर तिंदर एंड कैन यू गाइड अवर व्यूअर्स के कोलेबोरेशन कैसे करना स्टार्ट करें वेरी ब्रीफली तो so, कोलेबोरेशन का कोई मतलब कोई मैथड नहीं है जस्ट तुम किसी जिसके साथ कोलेबोरेशन करना चाहते हो जस्ट यू हैव टू टॉक टू हिम यू हैव टू गिव यूर परस्पेक्टिव कि मैं ये करना चाहता हूँ आप बताओ मेरे साथ काम करने के मतलब इंटरेस्टेड हो कि नहीं हो अगर वो इंटरेस्टेड नजर आता है तो डायरेक्टली यू आर कोलेबोरेटिंग विद हिम नथिंग इसमें कुछ साइंस नहीं है Since you mentioned your example, Dr. Dinder, even I am remembering one of my examples when I went for Indo-US conference in PhD Coimbatore. मेरे साथ एक मेरे co-PhD थे and he was very very I think Patel sir थे. He was very sharp, very active fellow. And when one professor of top university US presented his research there, so Patel uh, sir immediately went and started talking to me. I said, sir, आप क्या बात कर रहे हैं उनके साथ? What is doing? He said collaboration. Uh, that is that is the first time I think I heard that word. उसे इसीलिए तो कॉन्फ्रेंस होता है कि यू सी समबडी एंड यू वांट टू वर्क विद हिम एंड गो एंड अप्रोच आई वाज हेजिटेंट एट दैट टाइम यार इतना बड़ा प्रोफेसर कैसे बात करें आई थिंक दैट वाज आल्सो वन ऑफ द एग्जांपल्स हाउ इट शुड बी नाउ सर कई प्रोफेसर प्रोफेसर भी हेजिटेट कर जाते हैं सर दूसरे प्रोफेसर से बात करने में मैंने बहुत लोगों को देखा है भी हेजिटेशन अपनी खत्म करके आपको बात करनी पड़ेगी कुछ इतना मुश्किल काम नहीं है वो खुद चाहते हैं भी आप बात करें yes, लोग चाहते हैं ये acha doctor this before i go to rahul now and get the global perspective in this i would like to know from you kitna scholarship tak mil jata hai india mein i'll ask you that so ye different hai alag alag institutes ke liye so if you i jitne bhi iits hai wo generally 70000 ke aas paas ka scholarship dete hain 50000 se leke 50000 per month ka scholarship dete hain isme आईएससी बंगलोर में वन लैख भी है वन लैख पर मंथ का है और कई इंस्टीट्यूट्स हैं जो अलग से रिसर्च ग्रांट भी देते हैं तो इसमें काफी अच्छा है मतलब इट्स गुड स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट आफ्टर पीएचडी। ओके सो ओवर टू यू नोरा राहुल सो ग्लोबल परसपेक्टिव रुडगर यूनिवर्सिटी यू आर ऑलरेडी इन पी एंड मे बी इन फ्यूचर यू विल ऑल्सो एक्सप्लोर समर्चुनिटीज फॉर दिस सो यूर परस्पेक्टिव ऑन पोस्ट ग्रेड फेलोशिप Okay, so first thing I want to tell everyone, like in postdoc, I think timing is very, very important. Like when you start looking for a postdoc grant. So you told me, you told us like uh, postdoc doctorate is neither easy nor difficult. So it is very easy if you start at good time. If it it is difficult if you once complete your PhD and now you have nothing and you are looking for postdoc grant, then it is difficult. the first thing is that and other thing which is true which i believe after coming to us like every professor want indian students so indian students are very very hard working everybody wants to uh, basically get uh, this uh, post doctorate or phd student from india post doctorate i see it as a platform it's not a degree it's a platform like what you want to do next it's a platform for you so you can go into corporate also you can publish something and go back to india and become a professor in iit and iit you can become professor in american university so many many opportunities are there uh coming to collaborations yes collaboration is very very important and this is what i observe in us and iit kanpur if you ask me like whether in iit kanpur research standard is less or more than us i would say like it is more than us but where it is lagging in the collaborations so collaboration means in us first of all when the project is decided professor asked me like who did this project i mentioned one research group name like this is the person who 
already did this type of work he immediately called him and uh, he coll- my professor collaborated with him so that research group shared the idea whatever they already did and now we start ahead like whatever he they did we are starting now uh, beyond that so this is the difference of research i think in india and us mm. but yes post doctors are very good salaries are very good in us like in my university people are getting Forty five hundred dollars per month, which is quite high salary, uh, mm-hmm. for post doctorate. And later on, like six months or eight months, if they go to corporate, so they will get around fifteen thousand dollars. This is the starting salary for fifteen thousand per month. Huh? Yes, mm-hmm. per month. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's a very good opportunity. So if somebody is aspiring for post doctorate in abroad, I would say first of all they have to. short list of professors who are working in the same research area they have to make a very very good cv so cv is something which is reflecting your background uh, that is where like most of the students are making mistakes so their cv is not reflecting the actual profile then later on they have to send emails they have to give interviews so interviews how to give they are not judging you on the basis of communication skills but on the basis of your work that is important uh, so yeah some uh, i would say like uh, some uh, uh, hr type of questions are always there so you can prepare for that easily i would say so arahul i would like to ask you like uh, we are mentoring uh, students for post doctorate fellowship on europedia but these people are uh, quite you know experienced and they have a lot of uh, knowledge in life some are very uh, you know they have served many years in that teaching and all their question is how you guys can uh, help us in europedia i mean we know almost everything how you guys will uh, mentor us we are not kids okay so first of all i think where your pd is making difference is like shortlisting the professor nowadays there are many tools many websites which are there which people don't know which are very very helpful in finding the professor who are working in the same domain first thing is linkedin so that is the first thing second thing is cv which i always emphasize cv is very very important even if your profile is good but you don't know how to present your profile what to put in cv how to format your cv what things you have to put on the top or at the bottom so uh, this is where your pd is helping the students and uh, third thing is cover letter which is again very very important document sometimes people have to make a research proposal many people know a, a lot about their domain but when it comes to making the research proposal formatting sometimes is not good how to present the idea that it is not good and that is where expertise will come and that is where your bidia generally help student wonderful so yeah. i think uh, we have uh, uh, summarized uh, more or less uh, the important points related to post doctoral fellowship now anything you want to add uh, at the end of the interaction uh, over to you rahul first and then to uh, dr atinda yeah so my only advice is never think like you have to first complete the phd then start for the post doctorate i would say like from the third year or second year you can start this activity at least shortlisting the professors then uh, you can make your cv you can make your linkedin profile up to date and these things like your pd will help you how to make collaborations how to talk to different professors in different countries so that activity you can do in third to five uh, like third year of phd till fifth year of phd and uh, yes like once you are done with your phd before that you can get the post doctorate like uh, immediately once you finish you can go somewhere and you can start the post doctorate positions yeah anything anything from your side dr atinder yes to so, main i want to add that uh, uh, ये नहीं सोचना कि हमारा होगा कि नहीं होगा अप्लाई करना है नंबर एक नंबर दो ये है कि कुछ लोग सोचते हैं अभी अभी हमारी पीएचडी बाकी बची है हम अप्लाई करेंगे सोचेंगे देर आर अदर ऑप्शन आल्सो पोस्ट डॉक से पहले आप इंटर्नशिप के लिए भी जा सकते हैं इसी प्रोसेस के थ्रू तो ये प्रोसेस आपको इंटर्नशिप के लिए भी हेल्प करेगा पोस्ट डॉक के लिए भी हेल्प करेगा ड्यूरिंग पी एच डी ड्यूरिंग पी एच डी so that's yes. wonderful so i think this information uh, students who aspire for post doctorate fellowship will surely learn something from this interaction let me thank both of you here and again i'll catch you uh, next time thank you thank, thank you. you thank you sir